Okay, so you've just purchased an above ground pool. Whether it's a hard side pool or a soft side pool, this tutorial will show you how to build a great shelf in order to place items on like drinks or anything else you might want next to you while you're swimming. First, you're gonna need two 10 foot sticks of PVC, one inch schedule 40, eight elbows, eight T's, four end caps, one piece of Lexan or acrylic, I used a 20 inch by 32 inch piece, six stainless screws, number 10 by 5 8 inch, a drill, a hacksaw or PVC cutter, PVC glue, a tape measure, and a drill bit. Cut the pieces as follows. Two pieces cut at 29 inches, two pieces cut at 15 inches, four pieces cut at 10 inches, two pieces cut at eight inches, two pieces cut at seven inches, two pieces cut at six inches, two pieces cut at three and a half inches, and six pieces cut at two inches. Lay out the parts and pieces, and it should look something like this. Now you want to dry fit the pieces together, which is important because you want to make sure that everything fits together nicely before you glue it. This picture actually shows you how the pieces should lay out according to size and dimensions, as well as the elbows and the T's and the end caps. This is actually very helpful to lay it out this way because while you're putting the unit together, you know where everything goes. Using a hard surface like my garage floor, for instance, helps to keep the pieces somewhat flat so that the elbows and the T's and all the connecting pieces are somewhat square. I've sped up the video, as you can see, in order to not uh, drag on too long with the assembly. You get the basic idea. Okay, now that you've dry assembled your shelf together, there are two important steps I want to show you. Remember when I told you to cut two pieces at three and a half inches and two pieces at 29 inches? This might be different on your pool. This dimension right here for my specific pool was three and a half inches because that was the width of the top rail for the shelf to snugly fit over top of it. This dimension on mine might be different than on yours. As you can see, I measured the two brace arms for the shelf to snugly fit on there as well. That's why I cut my two top pieces at 29 inches. Yours might be longer, they might be shorter. Make sure you measure these two spots carefully as they might vary from my tutorial.
But then again, my cuts might fit exactly to your pool as well. All right, now that you've done all that, it's time to disassemble the completed unit. Lay it down on the ground just exactly the way you did prior and start gluing all the joints together so that the shelf is nice and strong and sturdy and you can start utilizing it. Again, this makes it a lot easier if you lay out your pieces like this because you know exactly where everything goes. As you notice in this tutorial, I glue certain pieces together at specific times. The reason I do this is there are pieces, which I will show you coming up, that do not get glued together right now. And for that main reason, when you put the shelf glued back onto your pool, you can adjust the side brace arms so that the angle is right and so that your shelf is level. This is the part I was talking about. These side brace arms that go outside of the shelf area to support it against the sides of the pool do not get glued. And the reason being is they have to be movable so when you put the shelf on there, you can make sure it's nice and level. And as you can see, they move freely. The rest of the shelf is glued, but this particular section is not. And you just go ahead and repeat it for the other side. Okay, so you've got everything glued together, except for those side pieces, which need to be mobile so you can make sure that your shelf is level when you fit it onto the side of the pool. Now we want to attach the Lexan or acrylic, whichever you've chosen. I don't recommend glass because it's too easy to break. Somebody accidentally hits it inside the pool, and next thing you know, you've got a shattered piece of glass and, you know, major problems. Mark the points as follows. You want to make sure that you mark the spots where you're going to drill the Lexan right at the hardest part of the top of that shelf, which is the joints. Be very careful when drilling Lexan. This is sped up just for the tutorial, but you want to be methodical and take your time because if you push too hard, you will crack the Lexan. It is a very strong material, but still it will crack. Okay, now that you're done drilling, go ahead and peel the uh, protective plastic off your Lexan or acrylic. I actually made a mistake. I forgot to drill my center support pieces uh, before I tore off the uh, protective plastic. It worked out for me. Just try not to do it so you don't have any issues down the road. Now you want to grab your stainless screws. Keep in mind in the center you're going to have to put two washers. The reason you're going to need two washers is remember this Lexan is sitting on the elbows and the T's on the edges which makes it a little bit taller off the actual PVC pipe itself. So these two washers in the center will actually build up that middle so your shelf uh, Lexan doesn't sag in the center. Okay, now that you have your stainless screws in, it's time to put the shelf on the side of the pool and make it level. Again, these arms are not glued, so we can do this. Set the arms, grab a Sharpie or a marker, and mark the points on those pieces and the pieces that are glued to make sure that when you take it apart back in your workspace, they go together exactly the same so your angles correctly. Some people would choose not to put the Lexan on prior to this step. I did. It keeps the unit a little bit more stable. Be very careful, even though Lexan is flexible, you don't want to crack it. Glue 
glue all the pieces together here, reassemble the unit. And now you're finished. Here's your shelf, ready for swimming, ready for drinks, or whatever else you might need next to you while you're swimming. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Subscribe, share, comments, I really appreciate it. If you have anything that might make the shelf better, please share it. Otherwise, enjoy your shelf, enjoy your new pool, and have a great time swimming. Thanks again.